Brennan, uh, first day of spring ball, you get back at it out here with the guys. I mean, just uh, kind of a, a nice a nice feeling after a couple months of, you know, just the, the off-season stuff and you're back out and, you know, with the, with the team again. Yeah, it felt good, you know. It was a lot of energy today. You know, just gonna be, being back with the guys, playing football is what we're here to do. So it was good energy and, I mean, gosh, we got blessed with this weather today. I mean, are you kidding me? It's really nice. I mean, for you, this is probably a late morning, right? I mean, 7 a.m. start. I mean, you're probably about 3 a.m. and you already got four lifts in. Yeah, you know, I was back home for a little bit during spring break. That was, I, it's always hard. Like, you don't get used to it, getting up at 3. And it's like, I had just gotten back, and she's like, come on, like, let's get up. Let's go. I got back at, like, 9.30. I barely got any sleep, but, you know, it's, it's fine. <laughs> it's whatever. Just kind of, you know, uh, your impressions of the first day, you know, that edge group, obviously, you and RJ, the, the, the veterans, you know, the older statesmen of that group, but so much young talent. Did, did any of the guys stand out to you with maybe a, something they do with their hands or technique, anything uh, that really stood out to you? I just think all of them have their own unique flair to them. I think every single one of them does something really, really well, and we can all learn from them. I think Ram just has that, like, Willie-esque, you know, he's able to bend and just bend his body as ways we can't do, and he's, like, lightning quick. You know, Eddie's arguably the strongest guy in the group now, which I'm, I'm, I think I still got him a little bit. He's just so strong and naturally just very physical player, and Lawrence just has this random burst of, like, electricity. He can just do things that we can't do at our, you know, we're kind of older and whatnot. So they just have that young flair to them. I think it's great to see. And then also, you know, got Carter, Quinn, and Malachi's a new guy coming in. He's he's coming to a really good group. We're going to teach him exactly what he needs to do. And it's, you know, the standard's still going to be super high, but I mean, we're going to kind of ease him in a little bit. You know, you mentioned Andrew might be the strongest. I, I was talking to RJ last week, and he mentioned that, you know, he he thinks he's uh, he's got some some uh, some lifts on you in the weight room. Is there any truth to that, or is he just is he just talking? He's got he's got you know a couple, but I mean. Upper body wise, I got him by a couple miles, but you know he, he's very strong. RJ is a strong guy, so it, it's good competition at the end of the day. You know, everyone's trying to make each other better. You guys have a lot of new faces on the defense. Um, you know, Dayon, Jordan, and obviously there's some returning guys too that are stepping into bigger roles. Uh, is it is it difficult at all at first to get you know those guys to kind of gel when you're replacing guys like Jihad and Justice and Jalen, or is there kind of just a cohesiveness that you guys have found through the leadership you, RJ, Armani all have? I mean, I think just today's evident of it. I mean, it just seems like we've been playing these guys for 10, 11 weeks already. You know, they just kind of fit in really well to the scheme. And I think just kind of our culture is that everyone is, you know, has a purpose. Everyone has a role and everyone's needed. So the minute we, we lose someone like Jihad, just as two amazing players here, guys are starting to step up. And whether those guys that are already here are transfers, I mean, that's the standard they have to uphold. So, you know, coming in today, you can kind of see how those guys just kind of take the next step forward. Thanks, Brendan. Appreciate it. Awesome. Thanks. Hi, Mom.